Um, it's something that we talk about as a defense. Um, some of the older guys is that we're we're going to be the reason that we go out and win games. It's not going to no matter what's happening on the other side of the ball, no matter what's happening special teams, you know whatever it is. It's like um, the defense. We're going to play good enough, hard enough, long enough to be the reason that we win games, and that's kind of our mindset going into camp. I think that's going to help us just to continue to develop and not get um, placed as a defense. Um, we're just going to keep getting better and better. What, what was the, what? So that you've seen the transformation. <clears throat> I guess what was it like before? Um, I mean, it's it's. I wouldn't say it was really so much different. It just gets talked about more now, right? Um, um, the older guys are on the defense. We just we bring it up, and it's more in our minds all the time now, rather than um, just kind of us going out and playing, it's like we're out there because we're going to be the reason that we'll win games, no matter what the situation. Even if we're up by 30 points, like we're going out there on every single drive, like we're going to make a game. Really I mean, kind of along the same lines, you know, you, you, the, the program has, you know, had a number of losing seasons now, but yet just when you look at the vibe or feel the vibe of the players and coaches, it's, it's like you wouldn't know that. This team hasn't had a winning season yeah. in a long time. Why? Why is that? Um, I think that's just because we we know the work we put in. We know um, what we've done to put ourselves in that mindset and get us to that point. And so we're just we're confident. We know we put the work in. We know um, we're going to continue to put the work in through camp, and we're going to be ready to roll for the season. Now, you, you've been through a couple of camps now. I mean, with this much experience and as strong as the defense could be this year, for the defensive line group specifically, what would you say the number one thing you want to get better at is before the season starts? Um, something we talk about is just um, our our four. Uh, our four-man rush, just being able to get the quarterback with four guys, not having to send that extra blitzer, and that's uh, it's something that we talked about, something we talked about a lot in spring, I'm um, talking about just pass rush lanes, all that stuff that goes with it. And, um, I think we're going to continue to get better and better at that, and uh, I think we're going to be a really good four, four-man rush team. Who's that for? Um, I mean, we got a lot of guys that can play. I could, I could tell you six different people that it could be. Um, I mean, obviously Cam, Jamari, me, Ty, um, Elijah, Judy, uh, MJ Sherman, Prince Will, um, Riley Van Poppel, Sue. I mean, there's. I think we have so many guys on that defensive line that uh, can play really high level football. So um, during games when we're subbing in and out, I mean, you're, I don't think you're going to see much of a drop off between our starting three guys. I think we should have six guys on the defensive line that um, could be starters. So. You know, when you were here, I think in 21, they had a pretty darn good defensive line that year too, mm -hmm. but. It feels like this group is is, is just even deeper. How, much, how impressed are you with with Sua and Riley and some of these kids that are coming yeah. and ready to play? Yeah, that's Sua, Riley, um, Vince Carroll, Jackson, Jackson. Um, those guys. I mean, I've been super impressed with them. They yeah. came in um, obviously last year as freshmen, and they've just they've done nothing but work and continue to develop. And they take the coaching. They take us older guys trying to help them out. They 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 want to be really good at football, and that's I mean it shows them how they work and how they prepare. Coach Rule always says the best teams are player-led. How have you seen that take shape even this year compared to a year ago? Um, yeah, no, that's like this summer, um, coaches were gone for a good amount of times. We were running running a lot of player-led workouts, um, and they, they ran smooth. Um, there was no drop-off um, from when coaches were here to where coaches were gone. It was things ran smooth. The older guys um, took charge, and um, I, I was really happy with how that went this summer. I think Keen Eichen said the other day that he the thing he loves is you have a different style leadership than maybe Jamari and Ty. Do you see that? Like, oh, you all kind of have yeah, a different way sure. of doing it. Yeah, that's, we have, me and Ty and the guys, we always joke how Ty's kind of the bad cop and I'm the good cop at the time. But, um, yeah, we definitely, uh, me, Jamari, Ty, Judy, um, we all kind of have a little different ways in how we lead. And um, I think we mesh really well um, with those aspects. And um, so, yeah, that's, that's really cool to have just, Different guys need different um, leadership, you know, so it's cool to have a variety of ways that we can lead these so, guys. So Ty rips them more than you kind of put the arm on them. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of, that's how it is sometimes. And I'm I'm working on being a little meaner okay. this year, so. When you look back at it, how, how much fun did you have wrestling this year? Oh gosh, I had so much fun doing that. I think it was the best thing I could have done. Um, obviously I dropped a bunch of weight for that. Um, feeling really good now, um, athletically. Feel more explosive, more powerful. Um, just being able to move a lot better now, so I'm couldn't be happier than I did. I, I mean, I had a blast doing that. Getting yeah. to know those guys. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what I was going to ask you. You know, the, the, does it give you also your mind kind of something to think about other than just football? Yeah, that was that was also something that was cool about it. It just wasn't, 
you know, I've been doing football workouts for four years in a row, and so to go do that this year was, it was so much fun, I think, just because it was something different, too. It wasn't just lifting weights, running, doing drills. Like, it was something completely different than I had done for four years. So that that part of it made it a lot of fun, too. When you hadn't lost for so many years when you were in high school and you go back out there, what did you, did, did what happened in terms of your one loss record match what you expected going in, or did you expect, oh man, I'm far behind, I know how good these oh, guys will be? Yeah, that's, I, I mean, I knew going in that, I mean, those guys are some of the best wrestlers in, um, the, obviously, the country and in, um, in the world, and some of them, and uh, so I wasn't going in there thinking I'm going to go undefeated, right? I went in there, it was pretty cool because it was kind of the first time in my wrestling career I had I didn't have that pressure to go out there and pin a kid in the first period or go out and win. So I was, um, it was pretty cool to be able to just go out there and like wrestle free, just like have fun with it, go out there and whatever happens happens. So that was uh, obviously I'm very competitive and like losing sucks, but um, to be able to go out there and not have that expectation of going out there and winning every single match was uh, pretty fun. Have you seen your defensive coordinator Tony White maybe just amp things up in year two after a really good year for you guys last year? Yeah, that's um, we obviously we played. Mm -hmm. Um, pretty good football last year and um, one of the first meetings we had um, with the, all the new freshmen you know all the new guys on the team was um, he lay set the tone with the meeting is this, this group hasn't done anything yet like whatever we did last year that doesn't matter this group of guys in this room hasn't done a single thing yet and um, I think that set the tone pretty well for what he expects from us is to um, not get complacent and just continue to develop and get better and better um, that's he's he really came in first thing he said is he set the tone for that is that this group has nothing. Can you uh, can you do a backflip like uh, Gable Stevenson? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not quite there yet. <laughs>